Hello, welcome back to Intuitive Insights. I'm Scott. Uh, today I have a special guest on, Laura Greenwood. We're going to be looking at some news stories. But before I do that, I have I want to say thank you to about 100 new subscribers that I got last week. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'd also like to mention that uh, I have some openings for personal readings. And uh, if you would like a personal reading from me, my fee is $50 for up to two hours. And uh, that's, a, that's a little bit uh, special in the tarot reading world. Most tarot readers don't give you so much time and uh, they'll charge you more money for it too. Not only that, if you uh, purchase four readings from me, I'll give you a uh, discount of uh, $180 for four readings. All right, so, uh, and uh, before we start, just to, so everybody knows that uh, we are not professionals in financial, it, giving financial advice or medical advice or anything else like that. And, uh, you know, just take what, uh, take what resonates with you from this reading. Uh, this is really just entertainment, right? Okay, so, uh, Laura, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, Scott. Well, you already did. I'm Laura, and I'm uh, joining Scott. He's in Thailand. I'm in Alaska. And uh, um, I was very gratified. I mean, he mentioned me a couple times when he's done some recent readings, and I think he thought people might like to see who was sending him these suggestions because I'm a huge fan of current events. And I know that in today's complicated world, sometimes we have to go to unconventional sources trying to find truth and news. And as Scott said, uh, while we're doing this for your entertainment, uh, use your discernment, use your own intuition and see if any of the topics or things that we come across in our reading and the information that's shared with us from the universe resonates with you and uh, we hope you enjoy. All right, thanks a lot, Laura. So uh, what's going on in the news, Laura? You know, I, I uh, really avoid the news. I don't know what's going on. So uh, what have you got for us today? Well, let's see. And bear with me, everybody, because I am not a natural techie. <laughs> so I'm going to, first off, I thought, Scott, you know, one of the first things I recommended to you was to uh, uh, report on Kirsten W. And you did. And... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <clears throat> and I, I noticed today when I was looking at some of the uh, off mainstream websites that uh, Scott, um, let's see, this guy who is Patriot S, I don't think we can say his whole name, said that there are uh, people, the people Denny, will recognize him. Okay, is likely still with us. And I thought you'd like to know that over a week after you did the tarot card reading and got that in your reading, it seems to be being discussed from more typical sources. So kudos to you and kudos to the universe for sharing some information with us on that. That's really cool. Thanks, yeah. Laura. Sure. All right. Then uh, next up, <laughs> and uh, Scott, you had no idea I was going to be mentioning this, so I, I won't. I heard today, and I confirmed it. Let me get to where I can share the screen with you. Okay, yeah. this is fun. There is a listing on Zillow. It's not active for the White House. Sixteen bedrooms, thirty-five bathrooms at sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest Washington D.C. Two o five o o. Okay. Well, I know that other people who try to do tarot readings um, have touched on the White House, uh, but I had a specific question because of this listing. I was hoping that you could do a tarot read and a couple of things. I'm interested in knowing, could the, is the universe willing to tell us currently, is anybody residing in the residential part of the White House? And secondly, because we know that the U.S. corporation has gone bankrupt. Was this listing created because all assets of the corporation had to have a value? Okay. Those are my questions about the White House. All right. 
So first question, is anybody residing in the, uh, how did you put it? The residential The residential area? portions of the White House. Okay, <laughs> good question. Yeah, I had no idea you were gonna come up with this, so great. <laughs> okay. Is it is it possible that now it's it's for sale? Is that what it says there? Well, Zillow is a real estate, you know, site. Um, when I first heard about this, someone said at one point it looked like an active listing months ago, but now it doesn't. Okay, well, it's interesting because the first card that I pulled up for it is the Nine of Pentacles. I don't know if uh, if I can uh, can you stop sharing screen so people can you see bet. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got the story. So uh, and uh, and the Ace of Pentacles across from that. So it seems like um, is anybody there? So the, the nine of pentacles is sovereignty. So it, it's like, it stands alone. So I'm, I'm thinking, and with the ace of pentacles, <laughs> it's, I get this feeling like um, it's up for sale because the government needs money. They're trying <laughs> to generate money. I wondered. <laughs> you know? And there's there's nobody living there because of this this uh, king of uh, king of cups is like uh, you know he's he's hiding something. So since the question was, is anybody living there? It looks like they they were hunkered down. So this is in the past. So there was some uh, there were there were some people there that they they were kind of hunkered down like dug in, somebody was dug in there like almost or, like squatters. If you if you look at it, this guy, it looks like he's squatting, right? He's squatting <laughs> on something in a house. So it's like there were squatters there, and uh, they've they've been routed out. Well, and, good. You know, we there was lots of uh, news about the things happening below the surface there um, at the White House. That's why I tried to be real specific about the residential part because uh, apparently there's been huge extensive cleanups needed below the surface. Yeah, so it looks like there there was somebody like whoever is the person that was portraying themselves as Joe Biden was dug in there and didn't want to come out. And uh, it's like, I'm just gonna say something. Oh, um, so you remember, was it was it Mr. T who said it was the people's house? Wasn't that uh, like a saying that was going around? So it's like the White House is being given back to the people. Good. There, there was a there was a struggle. There was a struggle over the ownership of it, like who who would have control over it, but it's been. Um, taken away from them and it's give, being given back to the people. This is a, it's, this has been ongoing because I got the death card. So this transition of, uh, of getting the people from the deep state and back to the people, it's been an ongoing struggle But uh, you're you're not going to hear this in the mainstream. This is hearsay. But uh, to answer the question, are people living there? Up until recently, there were, but now, no. Okay. Okay. And then the second question was um, that Zillow listing that I did on the screen share. Did that have anything to do with uh, valuing assets with the defunct and bankrupt U.S. corporation? Oh, that's right. 
Yeah, because uh, you said when somebody goes bankrupt, they have to list their value. I think they have to value property, you know, when they're going through bankruptcy. I don't know corporate bankruptcy and I don't know personal bankruptcy, you know, in detail. Um, but I, I just, I wondered, that was just one of my questions. I just thought, well, let's see if the universe will tell us so because sure. mainstream won't. <laughs> let me make sure I got the question right. So was this, was this done as part of a legal action in regards to bankruptcy? Right, right. Is that Zillow listing, did it have anything to do with the bankruptcy proceedings for the U.S. corporation? Definitely uh, legal matters in the past. This King of Swords is in the past. So it was had something to do with uh, legal matters. So uh, yeah, okay, so the star comes up for the outcome. So it's vulnerability. So yes, the, uh, the uh, US corporation was vulnerable. And I'm gonna take this as a yes, especially with the outcome being judgment, <laughs> star, and what is that? And, uh, and son. Take that, so, bad guys. Yeah, yeah because, <laughs> because, because of a judge, because of judgment. So we got the legal, the legal action was going on in the past. A judgment was made uh, to where they had to, you know, be, make themselves vulnerable. Uh, and this is ultimately going to be good for the people. Yay. Yay. So, so yes. Yes. But uh, well, everybody I'm watching this channel already knew that America's <laughs> gone bankrupt, right? That's right. Absolutely. By the way, this might be a good time to mention, um, there are some tarot readers that you and I both know and love, even if we don't know them personally, who do touch on truth or matters. And we will make every effort not to step on any toes and duplicate readings, but by the same token, neither Scott or I, um, watches every pay-per-view option that's out there on tarot readings. So there may be times we talk about something that's been discussed by someone else. And it is uh, it is not meant to be a reflection of distrust on what they get in their readings or anything else. It's just a, an accidental duplication. And it's kind of interesting because the answers from the universe can vary so much from moment to moment and depending on how you phrase the question. And if you set your ego aside, to let the cards do the speaking. So it's really interesting. And I hope if there are ever any duplications with the things we talk about, that people will realize it's it's not meant, it's just accidental and uh, serendipity. That's right. Well said, thank you. Oh, sure. Now, the next thing I wanted to do, uh, bring up to you today, there were, or I guess yesterday now, and uh, audience bear with us because uh, it's Sunday for Scott, it's Saturday still for me, we're in very different parts of the planet. <laughs> okay. Um, so it, I may talk about something here. today and it's, it's <laughs> yesterday for him. Okay, well, Tonga had reportedly a uh, underwater volcanic eruption. And this caused today, the West Coast of the United States was under a tsunami warning. And even as far north as Valdez, Alaska, up until 7.52 tonight, there was a tsunami warming, the warning. There was not evacuation, but there was a warning. And of course, you know, within the truther community, then speculation is rife that was this completely a natural event or not? And I thought maybe Scott could do a quick read and tell us what the cards and what the universe wants to tell us about this eruption on Tonga. Okay, so we want to know mainly is this natural or man-made or right. maybe not man right. made, caused, caused by somebody, May, maybe not augmented man. or manipulated, you know, was it, was it a natural occurrence and uh, is there anything the universe wants us to know moving forward? Okay. 
first card is interesting. Moon. Hmm. Hmm. Now go into a little explanation for your audience and explain why we both went hmm with that, okay? Yeah, because uh, moons are mysterious. They're, uh, when the moon comes up right away for something, it's like you don't, don't believe the, the main story. Um, so I, I got the two of cups in the background, uh, in the past. So is this, well, listen, it definitely was not, uh, was, was not a natural thing because that moon, all right, coming up straight away. So this was an attempt at, to create some kind of tsunami. We've been here, I know a lot of people have said that they're looking for a tsunami to hit the West Coast. They tried to do it with uh, La Palma. I did uh -huh, a reading on, on the that. East Coast. I definitely, I definitely got that there was some manipulation at La Palma, but uh, it was being held together. It would, I, 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 I did make a prediction that it would not fail and it would not cause a tsunami. Uh, which came true. Uh, so, and uh, and by the way, the Alliance is celebrating the fact that it did not cause a massive su uh, tsunami. That's a, that's cause for celebration. It yes, was. It, is. it was uh, not nothing to worry about. Okay, because we had here was the moon. The the worrying for no reason, and then uh, celebration over a victory. Mm -hmm. So there yep. was some concern. There was some concern that it would cause a, a tsunami. So uh, the the alliance, the good guys, did something to to make it so it wasn't a big tsunami. Excellent, and my thank you to um, all of the alliance on World and Off. Thank you. Yeah, I, I was born and raised. I was raised in Crescent City that was devastated by a tsunami in the '60s, and uh, so. Tsunami news is uh, the one in Alaska. Yeah, yeah the, the Anchorage um, earthquake sent a tsunami to Crescent City, California, and at that time I was a little girl in Crescent City. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, no, yeah. I've I've seen so, I've seen documentaries on that. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so yeah, they they wanted to uh, they wanted to save lives and property. Thank you. And uh, yeah, it was definitely uh, definitely quelled or reduced. The, the 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 tsunami was reduced by the actions of the White Hats. So there you go. It was definitely an a last ditch attack by you know the the well, archons. My, that's my my word. The my, my, that's that's what I that's what I call the uh, deep cult cult okay. uh, guys. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for doing that that particular reading. Um, since I touched on the fact that the tsunami warnings did affect Alaska, and I've made no secret that that's where I'm located, um, I wondered if recently Mr. T um, had said that he would endorse our um, our current governor, Governor Dunleavy, provided that he did not endorse. Um, Senator Lisa Murkowski, and uh, that's a state senator we have who's uh, frequently votes against party and, and constituent wishes. I guess that's the way I'll phrase that. So um, anyway, I was wondering, here's a picture, pretty infamous picture of our wonderful Senator Murkowski being cornered by Ms. Feinstein. Feinstein, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I apologize, even though I've, her politics aren't mine. I think it's Feinstein. So, yeah. Okay. Anyway, what does the universe want to tell us about uh, our Senator Murkowski? Is she uh, 
going to seek re-election? Is she going to fade from view? Is she going to face uh, some uh, consequences for actions that shouldn't have been taken to start with? What would the universe want to let us know about my Senator Mikowski from Alaska? Okay, and just for the record, I don't know anything about these these people or politics. So uh, I'm coming she at this- You have no idea who's bringing this up. None at all. Open mind. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty, I mean, it's, you know, Alaska isn't a big state. Um, it is geographically, obviously, but uh, no, Scott had no idea I was gonna ask about this. He just, he's just made it clear because um, I have been a customer and I'm a very happy customer if he is in the past, that he doesn't like to read things twice. So that was another reason to do this together so I could ask these questions and we could share those answers with you. Okay, great. Uh, just uh, before I draw cards one more time, tell me her, her name and what you wanna know. Lisa Murkowski. She's a Senator from Alaska. Um, what does the universe wanna tell us about her political future? Um, I don't wanna get into private things for her, you know, private life, uh, that wouldn't be fair, but she is a public servant, so, uh, and sure. she hasn't served her constituents too well. What would the universe like to let us know about Lisa Murkowski? And then, it, am I still sharing the screen? Hopefully not. No, no, okay, no, you're good. not. And I thought since Mr. T has taken an interest in her that even uh, a wider base than you and I might have some interest in. Uh, and what, what the what do you have to say about her? What's, what's, your, what's your personal opinion about her? I do not like that. Uh, I've spoken with her one time and she lied to me uh, repeatedly from a traditionally conservative state, she has not served the majority of her constituents' wishes to vote conservative and vote within her party. And I believe because she was uh, elected in one of the first mail-in um, write-in campaigns that was very fishy. Um, I think there's a lot that could be said about her career. I just wonder what the universe might want to share with us. Okay, so she's feeling very vulnerable right now. Good. Uh, <laughs> because, be, because, because of her dishonesty, frankly. Um, she, she sees herself as a, as a leader. She, she sees herself like, uh, well, she sees herself as the, as the queen of pentacles, but, uh, it looks like the people's wishes are for her to be gone. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. So there's a very so active this is, Facebook this, group this about Alice Murkowski. Here's the here's the outcome. This is this is all the people who are. I think rep, I think you represent these people. The wishes for judgment to come to her and for her to move on. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks it looks like she is very vulnerable right now. Uh, so let me see. Will she will she be in office? Is she going to seek reelection? Yeah. I'm, uh, no, <laughs> she's going to she's she's going to be off on her own. <laughs> she may have a spa date. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, think right. I think her I think her activities have gone that deep that that may be a possibility for her. So thank you. She's, for, think, she's thinking about trying to trying to get back into the race, but uh, yeah, no, um, I think I think what all um, our political figures need to realize is the day of self-serving politics, which is really what that's all about, is over. If you're not ready to be a public servant and represent your constituents. Um, and do so with transparency and honesty. We don't want you. She may she may try to run run again, but I don't think she'll uh, be reelected. Good, good. Okay, well that was just about it. I did have a question about Australia. Did you want to hear Australia yeah. before we call it a night? 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I saw that this, there this is, is a movement. I, I'm really, I, I'm really enjoying this. I am too. This is great. By the way, I'm, I'm just, you know, Joe Citizen. I'm, I'm not a professional, uh, but I am interested in politics. I am aware that there's much more going on in the world than, uh, like I said, the mainstream reports on. And uh, in my search for truth, it's taken me down some unconventional paths. This is one of them, and it seems to have some validity. So uh, if you're listening, I hope you're getting something from it too. Well, today I saw Wait, that there is a move. Laura, Laura, yeah. don't, don't, sell, don't sell yourself short. You're also an intuitive, uh, and you're, you're a tarot card reader as well, so. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Don't, okay. Don't sell yourself well, short. I saw today that common there there is a push in Australia, and I know that there's been a similar one in the United States to uh, um, return to governance through common law. In fact, there's a site about that uh, just with, that was specific for Australia. So my question is: Is common law the way back to freedom for the citizens of Australia? Yes. For Australia, those people have, they have suffered and, and, I'm so say, much. And, I, and I'm saying that because I got this in the past. These people have just been overrun. It's like the the ocean, the same way that the sea threatens to wash away the Queen of Cups, and uh, she's she's uh, you know wrapped up in her depression. That's, that's a good card to represent the Australians right now. But very soon, things are going to be turning around. Justice is coming. Yay. Okay, so we, we got for Australia, we got starting a new spiritual path or a new path, a new road, a new way of doing things in the future. We got the, the Ace of Swords in the position of the question itself, which is a yes. Uh, the military has something to do with that, by the way. The military will be coming in to take over, uh, bringing in common law. This is gonna happen swiftly. When it begins to happen, it's gonna happen swiftly. Uh, justice is gonna come right in swiftly and uh, Things are going to get intense. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, an ending, by the way, it's an ending. But, uh, but absolutely, yep. and, and and I mean, I have to say, not just for Australia. Australia has been a test bed for a lot of the stuff. So, what happens in Australia, like when they were doing all the draconian measures, the lockdowns, and and most of the world didn't even know this stuff was going on, unless you're someone who really follows this stuff. This is that was their intention for the world, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it makes sense that uh, Australia would, would be the first place to uh, uh, to get their sovereignty back and a test bed for common law. Yeah. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, those were the topics I wanted to raise tonight. Um, I would like to just piggyback on what Scott said. Um, he is new to the career of tarot reading. And so you're fortunate that this is a time when you can get personal readings from him. Um, and I would suggest that you give that some thought. They're fun, they're entertaining, they're uplifting, they're heartening. It's well worth your money to give it a try. I even had him read my pets and he not only read from her ego but from her higher self and it was it was lovely it was fun so uh if you're listening and you have uh, got that in your budget please give him some of your business and let's support a, a budding new to the career tarot reader here okay that's it for me I, in alaska will, for this week yeah i i will be raising my prices eventually i mean uh, yeah. right now i'm i need 
to develop a clientele of devoted people. And if, if you're someone who's had a personal reading from me, uh, you know, the, the best way for me to get devoted clients is through word of mouth. So tell your friends, you know, let them know uh, how, how I was for you because everybody I've done a reading for, and I'm not just uh, blowing my own horn here, has told me afterwards how to. uplifted. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, but it makes me feel good. The money's nice, okay? And listen, this is my career now. I can't be, a, I've been, a, I was a teacher for 18 years. That's over. I can't do that anymore. So this is my career now. But besides that, it's this wonderful feeling I get when people tell me how much better they feel after my readings. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very happy to do it. And uh, you'll be supporting me. You'll be putting food on my table and a roof over my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, um, and once once uh, your ground your base clientele base is full, the, these opportunities are going to be few and far between. So, uh, yeah. Get it while it's hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So anyway, Scott, this was great. Um, maybe if we do this again, and I'd be happy to do it on a regular basis, because I'm always, always looking for news and, and going to odd places to find it. Uh, maybe we could get you to where we could see the cards being laid out. You're doing a nice job of holding them up, but it'd be nice to see the spread and see how they relate to one another. So let's give that a try too. So if you listen to this and you're willing to give us a try again, please do. And we will uh, develop our format as it goes along and you can grow along with us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Laura, for uh, coming on and doing this with me. I, it's nice to have a partner in crime. <laughs> no problem. It was fun for me too. Good night, everybody. All right. Goodbye. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.